Hey guys, back again with another tutorial. And today's tutorial is about the equalizer effect. And I'll show you what that looks like. And guys, I know I start every episode saying literally the same thing. But, you know, I can't think of anything else. Anyways, this is what we're going to be making. Just the equalizer thing in the back. Alright. Let's get started. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so pretty much this effect, uh, the way you make it pretty much depends on the song you use. Like, you don't have to use the song I'm using right now, but the way your equalizer moves should look like how the song is going, if you know what I mean. Anyways, so we'll just set the backgrounds to black for now. Let's just make the actual equalizer first. So, we have our little line thing. We just copy paste that. I think you guys would be able to do that. We'll set it to move to X. And, of course, we put the move trigger. Like that. Right now, what I do is I set each one of these bars to a separate group, each one individually. So, like this one to two, this one to three, this one to three, and this one to four, this one to five, and so on. Just bear with me. So now as you can see here, I have every single one of these, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 of these, each set to different groups. And actually since these are going to be moving up, I'm going to copy paste this part just in case. Now you want to, first thing, let's have it start going to the music. So we listen. Alright, so we're going to put little bumps where the beats are. I don't know how to say it. So, actually, you can also set this whole thing to a group for what I'm doing right now. You set this whole thing, so in my case it's 12. And now, let's see where the music goes. Right there, about. So, for that, we put 12. And for the easing, I like to use easing out for the little bumps for more hardcore music you usually use like you know more static key movements but in this case for this music we're going to be using it ease in and out and i'll make it 0.25 and let's have it move 10 well it's trial and error here so 10 and then we'll have it move back down 0.5 and back down negative 10 and let's see how that looks so far. Okay, so that looks okay. These, of course, aren't with the music, so I want to move those. And actually, wait, I'm not satisfied with how this is moving. I kind of want it to move a bit quicker, so I'll do 0.15, and I will move... Well, let's put a starting position to make things a bit quicker for us. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe I want this to move quicker after the little equalizers move up. I don't know what to call these. I'll call them little bumpers. Okay, now we have that. I feel like it's moving up too much. This is the the movements you do are all based on your preference. So I'll just have it move five. Okay, that looks I'm Almost. I'll move it to 7. And this, guys, the... Oops. What I'm doing right now is based on your preference. You can move it 10 or whatever, how much you want, depending on what your... You, depending on what you want your... How you want your equalizer to move. Okay, so now we just... We copy and paste this to the music, and I will fast-forward it 
to when I'm finished doing that. All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm back. After just copy and pasting this, to have these little bumpers move up and down. And I noticed that uh, the move the X wasn't long enough, so I'll just change it to 15 seconds. Right here. Uh, like that. Alright, so now as you can see how they move to the music like that. Alright, now you want to kind of overlap movements, I would say. So while that's going, you have individual little bumpers move up. So I'll show you. Wait. So, the da, 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 that part, uh, we will add movement with that. So, we have this, which is group 8. Ignore the group 12, because remember, everything is group 12. We want to get that group 8. Alright, so, we're going to have that move higher than everything else. So, whoops, not object. Move. And that was 8, as I remember. And we'll have it move, we want it to look like it's moving pretty high, so we'll put 10. And we want to make this a pretty quick movement, so I'll set it to point 0.1. Again, this is based on your preference. Making these equalizers is kind of like a trial and error situation where you have to test out the movements to see uh, if they move how you like them. So, But this is what I'm doing right here is for demonstration purposes to show you just how to get started on your equalizer. So we have that point 0.8 and now uh, to make it look better we have that point 0.8 moving up or it, or not point 0.8 just 8 moving up and we'll have the other ones move up at the same time but not as high so we kind of get a curve looking shape. So as we know since we added the groups in order we know the one to the left of it is 7 and the one to the right of it is 9. So we can do something like this and we'll have it move 7. And we'll actually we can just copy paste this one. And we'll have this to group 7 also and we'll have it move negative 7 because we set it to 7 before. And we know to the right of 8 was 9. So I'll just set this one to 9. And now let's just extend it a bit further to have 10 move. So we'll do this to 10. We want it to move a bit less higher. So I'll have this move only 3. And guys, you might think that like with such small movements, like just only moving 3, that it won't make a big difference. But the little, the little movements... Uh, I'll just say they make a big difference. Anyways, okay, so now we know this is going to be 6 because it's lower than 7. Whoops. Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now when you see that, it should... Yeah, you see that? Hmm, but that looks a bit too small for me. Let's see if there's a way we can fix that. Maybe we have to move these right a bit more. Hmm, that's strange. Alright, so maybe what I'll do, I'll just make these uh, a bit bigger. I'll make this, why not just 20? Let's double it, why not? But remember when we set that to 20, we have to do this to negative 20. And for these, we know these are the same, so we can select both of them at the same time. I'll have this move 12. And then... So these corresponding move triggers down 12. And these ones, we'll just make them 5. So you, you guys don't have to follow these instructions I've given you like strictly. As I'm repeating this over and over, uh, the way you have the move triggers work is completely up to you. And those are up. I see why. So we set these to 5. And we set these to 5 also. We have to set those to negative 5. That was my bad. Now we should have. 
That looks good. And let's make it move up a bit slower and down a bit slower. One five. And this will move down point four. Okay, now we have the we're gonna copy and paste into the movement. Let me just test this out. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay. So guys, the way I align my move triggers to the music is I just kind of eyeball it. Sometimes you can, if you want. Uh, where is it? How do you do it? Create these lines. I I never really do that, but for some people it really helps out. So just take that into consideration. So, we'll copy paste this. And let's see if that works. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright. Let's see if this works out. Okay. That looks... I'll say that looks pretty decent. Hmm, whoops. Looks like we forgot to copy that top part. So let me do that. Now I copy paste this. Mm, I say that looks decent. It's not great, but it I think it looks all right. And as you notice, this went over the ground. So what we're just gonna do, we're just gonna copy paste this down. Oops, just like that. And now, to add even more movement, what you can do is uh, add more move triggers and kind of make a little tiny wave. And I'll show you what I mean by a little wave, like have it move this up, down, and next have this move up, down. I'll show you. So that one is group two. So we'll have a two. One, two, and we'll have that move point two. And we'll just have a tiny, yeah, just three. And we'll copy paste that. And we'll have that move down point four. And now that we have this point two, we're gonna copy and paste this and add it to the next group. One, two, three, I'll just have the wave last for a really short time. One, two, three. And I guess I'll fast forward this part real quick because it's just me copy and pasting. Ah, it looks okay. I'll just add it. So pretty much adding like little waves and stuff like that to your equalizer or add to the movement and just make it look better. It might be really subtle like this, but you can you can uh, see how it looks a bit more lively. And to add even more, we can whatever group this is, that was group four. We can have that move a little blimp up. So what we'll do, that was four. And first let's let's make these closer together. I'm taking up way too <gasps> no. Okay, let me fix that. Good. Alright, so we'll just move these closer together because for the sake of space. Now We'll do the move, and I remember that was four. One, two, three, four. Actually, why not just copy this? 
not both of them, just let me try to do a little shortcut. There we go. Just this one. So we'll have this two four, like I said. And we'll change the amount it moves up. We'll make those a bit smaller. So just three? No, let's make it five. Actually, why not six? So then we'll make this negative six. And we'll have the ones that move left and right of it move a little bit higher. So we'll, since this is six, we'll have it move three. And we'll have this move, remember, negative three. And we copy paste that to the one that's on the right of it, which would be five. And we have that. You can barely notice it. Interesting. All right. Anyways, let's just copy and paste this and see how it works. Okay, so that seems right. All right. So now what you want to do is just copy paste this and if the melody or harmony whatever you call it stays the same these move triggers will work with the music see it's different there but it's the same here just make sure you have it start at the same time So let's see. All right. So let me accommodate for this space in between with just copy and pasting more. That's all there is to it. Once you get uh, whoops. Once you get the equalizer moving to a kind of rhythm. It just still looks nice if it's bumping as long as it's to the music. So, okay, it goes here. And we'll just put this over here. And let's see if. It And there you have it. Now, with this part, we can copy and paste that. And add it to be right here. Hmm. And... There we have it, an equalizer. And a lot of uh, people sometimes, they want this to be in the middle, not on the ground, like as you see here right now. You see how that's on the ground? Sometimes they want it up higher, off the ground. So what you do for that is move it up. And you see it's bottom layer, negative six. So what you do in a different layer, you just make sure you put a block that is a higher layer than bottom negative six. So we'll just have it, it can still be bottom layer. And this is negative seven, so that would have been under our equalizer. So we'll make it negative five, so it's over. And make sure to put it to group one for the move to X. And you copy paste that, copy paste this, and we'll double the size to save objects. Now that we move this over here, 
you will set it to a color, whatever color we want. I'll set it to maybe a magenta pinkish color. Oh yeah. So once you have that, you copy this color and you change this background to the completely plain one and then you paste it here and now you can't even tell that you can't even tell that these blocks are here it'll just look like your equalizer is in the background and let's move that down a bit And there you have it, a simple equalizer tutorial. So just to recap with a brief overview for now, wait, after you see this. Oh. Hmm, that looks pretty nice. I'm happy with that. Anyways, so just to recap, what you do uh, when equalizer is, is pretty much multiple movements overlap with each other. So you see, first we have the little bumps that move up and down, up and down over here with the music and when you add a second part of the music uh, you add different movements for that as well and another tip is to make sure if you change the amount of uh, bumpers moving up you have to make sure that you accommodate for that with the negative or else you'll screw things up and then know that it's actually not that hard because once you get one of the little uh, blimps with the music you can just copy and paste that as long as it's going with the beat of the song. So that ends this tutorial. It's a simple equalizer effect. I hope this makes things less complicated. A lot of people think this effect is really difficult, but uh, when you look at it more closely, it's actually quite simple. So I hope you'll be able to use this in your levels more if you've been wanting to, but you can't figure out how to use it. And I'll see you guys next time.